taken successfully. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. From the gun on third down, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. This is taken at the 23. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now it's Hines. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. Well, partner, I want to revisit week one. I got your positive takeaways from the first week of the NFL season. How about the bad stuff? Well, let's pump the brakes a little bit on the Super Bowl celebration in Cleveland. Yeah. They have to win some games first, and maybe now that's the best thing that could have happened to them. Maybe they can settle in because that's a good roster. Miami, we suspected it was going to be rough. I don't know that we suspected that bad on opening day. Jacksonville, the defense is supposed to carry this team. They got torched by Kansas City. And Pittsburgh just didn't show up against New England. And I don't think we expected that at all because I thought Pittsburgh's defense was really good in the preseason. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. It's Brissett, and that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and ten. Here's Hines. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So with fourth down coming up, here's Adam Vinatieri now for the Colts field goal. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, 
Not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter. Right at the 20. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the... And he loses the football a second time. And the Seahawks have recovered. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not only going to tip it, I'm going to dock my cap to him. Congratulations, big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Now Wilson. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 11 yards there, first down. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 14, 14. Now it's Wilson. And it's caught at the 7-yard line. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Carson, and he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Yeah, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson. His second touchdown of the afternoon as they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Well, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Got some room at the 30. He's at the 50. 30. 20. 10. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines, 85 yards. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. So what was already a game to remember becomes even more so as that touchdown run, a lengthy one, takes him over 200 yards now for the game.